So just introduce yourself and give us a little bio about who you are. My name's Brian Lesher. I'm Jake's dad. And he's conned me into doing this interview. Um, how much do you want to know? So I first got introduced to horses when I was in probably high school, doing Future Farmers of America, FFA, high school rodeo, that kind of thing. I wasn't that good at it, but the bug bit me, and I loved horses ever since. Fast forward after I got out of the military and got into law enforcement, and I partnered up with the mounted unit there, and a guy named Dave King introduced me to how to get a police horse going, and I still have that police, my first police horse today. To me, the Cowers community is that elite level of horsemanship. They can do it all. They can work a cow, they can do raining patterns, they can box a cow like a cutter, and then they bring it all together for one event. There's a, a tremendous amount of horsemanship that goes on there, which is the attention to detail is what attracted me to it. The people are genuine, the people are uh, salt of the earth, and be careful what you ask for because they'll tell you exactly what they're thinking. But if you need help, they're the first ones to jump in and help you out. I met Callie Miller through a horsemanship clinic. So a group that I was affiliated with at the time, and currently, Gem State Stock Horse hosted beginner clinics. And after that show I just described where it didn't go great, I obviously needed some training. Um, and they kind of had clinics based around, this is basic cow horse. So I had a nice horse that I purchased from the Dave King I mentioned earlier and decided to go get some training. And there were a couple of different trainers there giving instruction and her comfort with new riders, or I mean, maybe not new riders, but new people to cow horse was evident. And her ability to teach was also evident, which really means patience with all the dumb questions I'm going to ask her and all of the things that I'm not going to be able to figure out. Um, so I approached her and asked if she'd be interested in training me and my horse. She looked at my horse and said, well definitely the horse. Let's talk about you. Right, my name is Kelly Miller. Um, I have been uh, the owner and operator of Mill Iron Performance Horses since officially 2006. This year would be my 10th year in the Cowboys. Um, hate to say it, it will be my 20th year in the horse industry. <laughs> Ages me a little bit. Um, started out, I was going to be an accountant. Um, went to school, had gone two years to school to be an accountant, and then um, was reading a Western Horseman magazine and I seen a horse program ad for a college in Southern Colorado. And I wasn't real happy with what I was doing. I had done a little bit of an internship with a company and I sat in an office and I did not think I could be an accountant. So I uh, applied, got accepted into the school, went to the interview, got into the program and so that's kind of what started me into the, into the industry. I was very much a beginner and the then secretary of Gem State at the very first show that I just described asked me if I'd be interested in getting on the board. And I said, I don't know anything about this sport or this industry. And she said, that's why you're perfect. We need that green to industry, green to cow horse thought process because you bring a perspective that the new rider would have. I got on board and the very next year I was uh, nominated for the president of the board and I've been the president of Gem State Stock Horse Board for four years now. A lot of changes, a lot of growth, a lot of really good things. I'd love to tell you it's all because of me, but the horse industry has been booming and we have some great members that have really pushed this organization to grow as much as it has. We've, we've probably grown 3x in four years. So what have you learned from being the Gem State president? that every show I know very little. I mean, I think I've got a handle on what's going on for the horse shows and what the cow horse 
exhibitors need to know and every show just humbles me that much more about what I need to do better. Um, that cow horse is no different than anything else. Customer service is paramount. Treating people well, talking to people in a way that is respectful and understanding of what they're going through in the moment. Because there's a lot of those folks are pretty nervous. I know I am when I show uh, and be an understanding of that. And they're paying a lot of money to be there. So keeping all that in mind and just keeping a level head, being calm and don't get too flustered about anything that's going on, no matter how flustered somebody else might be. And plan, plan, plan. Because in the minute, you can't predict what a cow is going to do. You can't predict what other horses are going to do. So you got to be ready to roll with it.